now the area's most accurate weather forecast with Storm Search 7 meteorologist Ryan James. Good evening to you. Hope your Friday is going well so far as we head through the next several days. It's all about the upper level ridge of high pressure setting up shop, which is a very midsummer type pattern. Although this is the first weekend of summer, it's going to feel more like the heart of summer. Take a look at our school net sites right now. Temperatures in the lower 90s for the north side of town. 92 at the New Star Energy, also 92 at Horseman Middle School. South side of town, 95 at Camp Don Harrington right now. 92 at Westover Park Junior High and 91 at Lano Cemetery. Up toward the northwest. 95 in Conlin. Same thing in Channing, Keys, Oklahoma. Also 95 degrees. Across the northeastern panhandle at Derzette at uh, 92, 94 degrees in Guyman, 92 in Skellytown, and 90 at the Arrington Ranch. Down toward the southeast, Childress at 95, Valley 93, and the uh, community of Palo Duro, it's 94. Hidden Falls Ranch, not that far behind at 91. Back toward the west and southwest, Hereford at 91 degrees. Adrian, 92 and 95 degrees in Tucumcari. You're going to want to find a spot to cool down. One of those spots might be Ute Lake where it's 95 degrees right now. Dew point of 54 and air starting to dry out now. Relative humidity 25 percent and south winds around 15 to 20 miles an hour. So I'll be a little chop on the water. Take a look at the regional radar satellite combination and what we're seeing back toward the west and southwest of us upper level high pressure starting to work its way in. And as it does build in, it's going to keep the mountain thunderstorms back toward the west. Sinking air compresses and warms as it does sink. And that means temperatures are going to be rising a lot. Case in point, look at Denver. It's 101 degrees there right now as that upper level ridge builds back to the west of us. 96 degrees in Dallas and also 94 degrees in Albuquerque. Here's a look at what's going to happen as we head through the night tonight. And there's not much to see. Mountain thunderstorms will stay back toward the west. Probably not much cloud cover out there at all. 66 degrees to start the day. South-southwest winds at 10 to 20 miles an hour. And they'll stay on the breezy side for the afternoon tomorrow between 15 and 25 miles an hour. 87 degrees at the noon hour up to 90 six by tomorrow afternoon with a south wind around 15 to 25 mountain uh, 25 miles an hour mountain thunderstorms yeah they're there but they're going to stay back toward the west as we head through sunday same old song and dance. Temperatures will top out even a little bit warmer with south-southwest winds between 10 and 20 miles an hour. Abundant sunshine and all that heat to go along with it. I'm, I'm expecting some areas to probably be close to the century mark by Sunday afternoon as well. High or low temperatures for tonight. Generally a mixture of low to mid 60s, but a few upper 60s to near 70 is certainly possible. Winds blowing from the south around 10 to 20 miles an hour. In Amarillo and Canyon for tonight, fairly clear sky. Temperatures back in the middle to upper 60s. South wind at 10 to 20 for the day tomorrow. Looks like middle to upper 90s with a bunch of sunshine out there. South southwest wind at 15 to 25 miles an hour around the area for tomorrow. Middle to upper 90s, a whole lot of sunshine, and, and we'll stick with that mostly sunny and exceptionally warm theme all the way through the middle and latter part of next week. Upper 90s to near 100. Don't focus on the numbers, just the fact it is going to be plain hot. Now, a couple of things to point out. One, uh, a couple computer models are indicating that this ridge may start to break down by the end of next week. You see a slight downward trend going from 103 to 102. Okay, that's splitting hairs for the most part. But the ridge may break down, which may open the door for a weak cold front to try to drop in by the time we get to, say, next weekend. That's one possibility. Also, watching the potential development of a tropical system Ooh. just off the tip of the mm -hmm. Yucatan Peninsula. That would be Tropical Storm Debbie if it does happen to form and where she goes that'll be a big question mark too. Okay. A couple interesting things to watch, so not just sunny and hot around here. There's oh. going to be a few other things to watch. Thank well, goodness. Another oh. reason or set of reasons to tune in. Exactly.